hi guys um welcome back to my channel my name is ifi artistry if this is your first time seeing my video you are highly welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for watching my videos all the time okay guys so in today's video i'm going to be um showing you guys how i achieve this beautiful um eyes you know you know these eyes that they smoke out like I don't know like he's winged out or smoked out so I created the eyeshadow and um, I want to share it with you guys okay guys so first thing first I started placing her um the her primer like I started placing my primer on the eye eyelid I'm using the um benign yeah, Benai Clone White eyeshadow primer. So I'm just like just placed it on the eyelid, and I was being careful the place I wanted to get to. I didn't want it to like you know extend to the crease like that much, because my concealer is already there. So after that, um, after doing that, I smudged it out and I started placing the eyeshadow like. So I'm I'm using the um, I'm using the the build. Blossom, yeah, is the Blossom Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. So that's what I used all through for this video. Okay, guys, so I'm using um, a very uh, bright shade. Is a light, I don't know if it's light brown or anything. So I'm using the eyeshadow and I'm using that shade to smudge out her transition, you know. It's just like a very light shade, you know. So um, after smudging out the I transition I will go into like a more darker shade you know like I'm just using a more darker shade to you know smudge it out more so I'm going to be showing you guys the the shades I use you know like I'm going to be you know writing it out because like I don't know when I was editing this video I was supposed to add all those things but that is actually by the way so I'm just smudging it out with that shade now I've just add something like more darker in inside like you know so when i'm doing my eyeshadow i think i've already said this before like so when i first i if i start with a, a bright or a lighter shade for the transition right so if i'm going in with something deeper i keep coming down like i wouldn't go up again the only reason why i'm going to like go up towards her brow bone is if i notice that there is a hash line like i'll just go up with a light more lighter shade to just smudge as that you know like that line out so i was coming in with I, I was using black now at this point the black shade so i was even coming down more like i'm taking it like more down i'm not really going you see like i raised up her brow her brow bone like just to get just to make sure i'm not really going up that much i don't know if you understand in as much as i'm still going to blend it into the crease just a little bit I, I, i'm being so careful I'm being so careful not to you know go above her crease line I didn't want that black to you know get everywhere so there's specifically I want it to be on this outer V like smudging it out and smudging it in you know so I have to just like you know use it I have to make sure like I'm winging it I don't know how I'm going to be explaining it but though but you know so I'm, I'm extending it out as if like I'm lining I don't know if you understand so after doing that i got a shade from the eyeshadow palette like i said i'm going to go through and make sure i found out the names of the shade and i'm going to be putting it on top of this uh, like i'm going to be writing it down okay guys so i added that shade there and then you know i i made sure like i blended it out like you know so i did same to the other side of the eyes like i'm using something that is bright and it's pigmented i'm using pigmented eyeshadow you know so I placed it there and then after placing so my placement I, I even make sure like there is no hash line no, because it's from the placement you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to have like hash lines so like one funny thing is that like I place something brighter on top of the pigmented like it's still eyeshadow like I didn't go in with a pigment I'm still going in with eyeshadow like just like I'm using as if I'm adding a pigment so I'm using an eyeshadow that is like brighter than the first first color I don't know if you understand just I, I, I run it through on top there's no pigment glue there is no nothing like after placing my my pigmented eyeshadow like just normal pigmented eyeshadow after placing that I just added another one on top of it I don't know if you understand so like it makes it like glow more it makes it, it makes it brighter this happens if you don't want to use like um, if you don't want to use 
uh, like pigments, you know, like if you if you are walking and probably you don't have your pigments around or you don't want to use pigments, just like in this case, I didn't want to add pigments, so I just wanted to use eyeshadow and that is it okay guys so after that i smudged out the under eyes with like a, a darker shade i think it's still black i'm just being careful not to make it look too much and after that i begin to line the eyes with um zaron gel liner as you all know that's my favorite okay guys so i line the eyes you can see like everything like it's not as if it's 100 looking beautiful right now <laughs> it's not really looking like perfect because like that dark lining or winging that i did hmm, i don't think is really giving like you know but it's going to start giving when you do the needful you know when you do the cutting and all that so after that i have to go over to this side and then line so there's something i noticed I actually noticed it when I was walking in, anyway, not just now. So when I I noticed that the dark shade in this part of the eyes is not really dark enough like the other side. Yeah, so I think I corrected that. I did, not I think. I did correct that. So when after lining and after cutting and all that, so I noticed like it was not as dark as I want it to be. So I have to just go ahead and... I have to go ahead and add something more on top of it i don't know if you understand so again i have to go ahead and equally smudge in the so the dark liner that i used i blended it into the dark eyeshadow that i placed on in her on the um, under eyes or something okay guys so after everything that I've, I've done blending i got my angled brush and the concealer um, no i use foundation not concealer i think i use foundation you can see me using my foundation palette or whatever okay so i begin to cut so i have to cut this and extend it out not just cut and leave make sure you extend it out so that is why when i was doing my that is why when i was doing my what is it called when i was winging it when i was you know doing everything out I, I was making sure that um i smoked i smudged it out because i was going to cut and extend it out so you can notice from this side of the eyes like he's not really you know giving that dark shade that much so that was why i have to actually go ahead and add something like you can see me like trying to smudge and you know make it more darker i was trying to add like my dark shade because it was not smoking like the other side the other side was well placed and everything was given Okay guys, so after everything, I have to equally go ahead again and have to cut it again like because I did a correction, remember, and that actually ruined the line. I wanted it to I wanted it to be a slit cut, so I have to make sure you achieve that, you know, because like when you achieve the slit, you know, when it's that beautiful and everything is in order, you are going to really love what you do, you know, so when I was done this was what i got guys like this eyes is so beautiful i love it so much i achieved what i wanted to create and this is the end of the video guys i hope you love it as much as i do see you next time please do not forget to subscribe to my channel put on your post notification and share my videos i'll see you next time bye